switch. We see our Sova is switching around. So it seems like those Intel rolls um, besides Cypher can do a little bit extra work and players feel comfortable on that. Ooh. Poised again. Here we go. Back on that Breach. And I love Breach for Split. There's so many good channels that you can concuss, that you can throw down your utility and make the opponents have to back off, especially in B. Rolling Thunder is just about the size of the site, as we see. Aggression here in mid, coming from Sentinels right away. And on their previous maps, they love to open up mid. It controls the map, and they're just getting free shots here. Dapper runs in, not too much utility even being used. The confidence right off the bat from Sentinels, but they get answered back by Dig as Shanks and Poise are standing ready. And the duo trying to make it happen in the 2v5. They're able to get the first two picks, but what can they do to follow it up? Big Flash comes in, and the flank is there. Just the threat of it is enough for Sick and Zombs to clean it up. Sentinels so clean on their executes. They just ran right up mid following that first headshot from Shazam. That scares you a little bit. That definitely puts a pace on the match. Sentinel's saying we are going to be able to run through, and a lot of what we're doing is based on aim. That was a freight train of a strat right up the gut on Dignitas's mid-defense. We'll see what they have here in a second. A little bit more default. Obviously not going to run right through to get themselves shortied out. And there's three shorties on the side of Dig here. They sold one out, though. You got a heavy A lane coming in on the defensive end for Dignitas. Meanwhile, the spike is leaning over towards the B side. Shazam always invested a pretty strong weapon round two. Oh. So look for him to be a key what? player on the attack. Sinatra, meanwhile, using a bomb buddy as well as a shorty to pick up the first two kills of the round. And even though they leaned five heavy on the defensive end, three already cleaned up here from Dig. Just trying to go for the last second strats. Maybe I can get some before the bomb, buddy. It makes everything look a little chaotic here as Dig falls down. A few shorty shots missing there, and Dig getting picked apart here, as we would expect. On the eco round, Poi's looking for one or two classic shots here with the cheese on his gun. I don't know if he's going to find it. Might just get hunted down here as Sentinels will start looking. See here, Bulldog versus Classic. Who's going to be the favorite in this fight? Now you got a camera watching it as well. Dapper is going to have all the information in the world for Shazam, who is going to just back up, doesn't want to risk giving up this gun in the final seconds of the round. Zombs, though, he's going to make the play, and that is back-to-back -back rounds ended by the Omen as Sentinels. They take fast control both rounds. You see an opening pick in the first 15 seconds. Yeah, making things work, making Dig have to kind of reset right away off their original opening angles, and that kind of hurts, especially when you're rotating without the information that more people are there. We saw ramp on A go down very, very fast, so that means Sentinels is scattered in the site. It's a very hard post-plant retake for Dig. Guns now, Pucket. Can they make it work? Shanks on the operator, and he's going to have an A watch on ramp. I don't think you're going to see much on the aggressive side from Dapper. He's just going to post up his camera, draw a little bit of attention over to A. So that operator not going to do any instant impact. Meanwhile, Shazam lurking his way through the mid, still on that Bulldog from the previous round, has two buddies with him as he and Sinatra are looking for early mid control. Once they get an opening pick, that'll determine whether they go over to A or commit to the B side. Deep set traps on Zip allow them to pretty much watch A here. No, they can rotate. A smoke out. It looks like they're just hanging on cam information right now from the side of Sentinels. Sentinels is getting mid for free every time. And Dignitas seems okay with it. Now everything that Dignitas has to deal with is pretty much in their spawn. This makes it very difficult, and we've seen Sentinels be so good at this. When they played Haven, one of the last rounds, I'm sorry, Bind, one of the last rounds, they ran up B and put themselves an elbow and then waited for their opponent to do something, walled elbow, and went and retook the site. Just different positions, different ways, and an unexpected opportunity oh, here no. as they come through again. Sentinels tearing Dignitas apart. Shanks had one shot so far with the operator. That one misses, and he is instantly punished. So they're not letting the young gun get heated up early on. Zoms oh. from the back is able to find two up top with the help of Sick. And now, once again, it's just poised on the breach today, putting away that Sage trying to do a little bit of damage. Every gun you can take off Beautiful. here is a small win, but he is going to lose his, and that is three straight for Sentinels, who have plenty in the bank. Yeah, bittersweet ending. A few go down, and the bitterness sets in that it's just the bleeding has not stopped as we go into round four. Sentinels coming up strong, and they just seem like they're flowing right now. Rolling through each site, Def and Som yet to find a frag for themselves to get the confident kills rolling. 
And it's just Sentinels in the lead at the moment. Controlling the pace of the game, they will head towards the A side. And it looks like it's going to be the majority here. We'll see if they actually go full on, since it is a save for Dick. Three rounds, and you only have five kills up to this point. Sinatra has been massive on the entries. Dapper, of course, in that starting round with a nice two-piece, but it's been this man. He plays a lot of Phoenix. You've seen his Sova. Shows you his raise as well as he moves to split one of the best on this map. Through this round and the next round, I want to see if Sentinels keep it going. They haven't put any break on yet. They still go forward. They're still getting frags, not afraid to die as well. You can't give your opponent too much respect when they're down. If they know they're getting a bit of respect, they'll start to take that and gain a mile. And here, Sentinels go in quickly again, start taking out their opponents. And again, they need to follow this momentum into the next round. Get right back in the face of Dignitas and don't let them hold their strong angles. Um, it's got to be so annoying to play this team. And it's tough. Like, they're just hitting headshot after headshot. Yep. You're worried about Shazam, and then all of a sudden Sinatra's got an angle on you you're not expecting. They swarm, they confuse, they consume. <laughs> Sentinels 4-0. What guns do we have right now on the opposing op side? Double operator. Okay, so when you were watching Dick and Toss Ooh. and you saw some massive success, it was in this scenario when two snipers are on the map. So Dig right now is getting 2,900 a loss, max. So you can add the math up and see where your operators would be from zero, plus 700 there, 3,600 for some. So if they lose this completely, again, they're struck for money. Maybe you know Util on Bulldog buy. The operas will be outright broke, though. And Shanks makes sure he adds another 200 to the bankroll to make sure that doesn't happen. First time we have seen green on the first blood. Yeah, nice that's true. Nice opening pick, and instantly Sinatra is going to charge right through the tripwire as Def is taken out. This is a B attack coming in. Now Spike is all the way back in spawn. Right now, Sentinels are just looking for kills. Oh, boy. Sam, very nice kill as that happens. It looks like Dig may be able to fight back a bit. And there's a res on to Sinatra, which makes it even harder for Dig to come back in the 4v2. Now Shanks does have his Blade Storm available on Jet if needed. But this is going to be a tough task. Two on four, Sinatra still holding you at B as he will be lurking. Ice wall breaks, and he is going to go hunting on the flank. The rest of the squad already over to the A site as the spike is being planted currently by Dapper. He's got cover from Zombs, and slowly but surely, you're going to see Sick get into the power position up top ramp. Oh. Such a fun position for Sinatra to be in as well. He can just give the team info that he hasn't seen anybody rotating out, so they may have to deal with all members themselves here at the site. Shanks, if he can save the op, he can give it to death, and he can use the blades. But I don't know if that's going to be the case that happens next round. Saw the tip of the Phantom takes a shot as Sick comes around, and Sinatra did make that ring around the rosy from B. At five rounds now on attacking side. Um, so they're already over the amount of rounds I said that Dig would want Sentinels to get, Puckett. This is our getting pretty scary here. It is coming up to alt rounds, though. The possibility of having your points on deck, like saw him here for a res, and a few online for Poised and Shanks. We'll see if Dig can fight back on this round six. Yeah, good luck. You got a sheriff, two sheriffs to work with, and a specter from Psalm against the full Never arsenal easy. here on the Sentinel Never side. Never easy. They've got their full kit. They did invest a few ultimates in the previous round, though, so we'll see what they're able to get done in an alt battle. Shazam slowly making his way up mid. He has been pretty clean on these opening picks. Last time, Shanks was able to find him with an op shot, but now, just on pistols, you got to think. This man has a massive advantage, and he's always going to have multiple players supporting them on the push. Look for a big paranoia, potentially, to come out of Zombs to set this to start. Boy, he's just waiting on the other side of the wall. As Superman went down there in the trade, they were hoping to be able to help each other out over at A. And now pushing forward. I don't know if he'll be able to make it work just yet. Poise gets himself to safety and knows that there'll be one down low after hearing that Cypher trap. But now flank is covered here for Sentinels. They can easily start to push around. Here come the Blades. Shanks is going to try and make a big play. He's got a teammate low with him, and Shanks will start off with a headshot on Zom. So instant kill there. Whoa. Right clicks at this range. Not the best. Does some big damage, but Sick can heal. 
Nice shot. Song comes up with that kill. It's so weird to see Song on the Sage here, but he's bringing in the support this game for the team. We've only seen Song on Sage throughout the turn. Or I'm sorry, Sova. 1v1 and the a big Oh, he gets him before the Rolling Thunder comes through. Okay, sick. That was sick nasty. indeed. That was nasty. You don't hit those shots. You don't win the round. You don't go up 6-0, and you lose to an eco. Instead, Sentinels edge it out. They have plenty of money still in the arsenal here. The bank account is flowing. On the other side, finally, we will see another buy, single operator. But that was a, a little sample from Dig. Even when they're outgunned, this is a dangerous squad to look at. Absolutely, and I, honestly, just realizing that we see Som on that Sage with Sova plays all tournament long, so foregoing that intel here. Yeah, Let's Sova kind of hasn't had a place on this map for right. a while now. True. So I was wondering what they were going to do, the Breach, and then Som switching over to take over the Sage role. It seems to be the way to go for Dig Superman opening up with a two-piece at the start here, looking for a third headshot. And Shazam is going to oh. battle back. Bladestorm comes out, waiting for the res to come through. <laughs> they get the punish, sick with three kills already. I love you. He's like, what did I land on? What is this? This isn't the frog. <laughs> he gets himself to safety. The team heads B and poised once again. He's been holding A, the last effort there, if anything were to flank. And it's up to him now in a 3v1. That was really the first round Sentinels 2 kind of offered up a fight in mid to say, hey, let's have a little bit of a gun battle. And then we saw them go back to the strat of just running straight through freight training up the mid. It's kind of nutty. You think about it, Superman got the first two picks, and then after that, it was four down for Dignitas. Yeah. Nice it's little run there by Shazam and Sick through the middle with the help of Zoms. And you're going to take a look at Poise just holding onto a rifle. This time around, you can't even really challenge. You can't try and take guns off because even if you get the kills, it doesn't matter. They can replenish. Meanwhile, for you, you need to keep this AR. The hunt is on. And they're not going to find him. They're nope. going to leave him alone. Shoots the trap. That's going to let Sentinels know, but they won't go hunting as he picks up the nice sniper trap. rifle. That is going to be enormous for Shanks to kick off this round. And he will hand it over to the Jet. Let's take a look at the buy here, Riv. You said it max bonus when it comes to the losing credits. Yep. That's tough, too, because you still want to force out. You still want to be able to get around because goal number one here is to start dropping the bankroll of Sentinels. Obviously, winning the round will come along with that, but you have to do it more than once. This isn't just a we're back in it if it happens. Look at Sick. He's 8-0 and 4. Oh, my word. It's just the confidence you play with when your team is all fragging this well means you're never second-guessing angles. You're hitting your shots, and I do not know how Dig is going to deal with this pocket. I thought that was going to be Dignitas' advantage. Psalm seems ready every morning. 8 a.m., no problem. 9 a.m., extra hour to sleep in. He's got you. So. Sentinels, you saw Sinatra scratching away the flakes in his eyes before the kickoff of this match, and uh, he's now hitting his stride, but the rest of the team started hot and they continue to find headshot after headshot. Superman, he's holding one of the key positions here and following the paranoia. It is going to be Def looking for his first pick and finally he is going to have a kill there on the is. board. Superman trades it out and it's two down for Sentinels, but the spike here is still alive and she is going to res as Sick brings back Dapper. It's back to a four on four and everyone is loaded up at A. Shanks is covering the other side, so they can't really get a good control on what's entering in. It's up to Poise on the backside, and he instantly gets double dinked by Sick as they move in. What a game for the Sage here from Sentinels here on the first game of Split. And now all four unscathed make it into sight. Shazam, Operator, don't even look at me, Psalm. Psalm goes down, <laughs> Shanks. His buddy saved this rifle for him last round. If Shanks dies with it, it's all for a waste. He didn't yeah. have any impact over at B as everyone went to the A site to start this round. And Shanks looks like he's going for a few picks here, but I, I wonder if this is going to be worth it. That wall's getting dangerously low. I see Sentinels pushing through as soon as that goes down with Cypher coming around. It looks like they'll start to bait. The shot is missed, and there's the double peak as Sick picks up another kill for himself on the Battle Sage. What are we at, 11 right now for Sick? Oh, my word. And pushing double digits there. He's 10-0-4 with a res. That's about as good as you can ask a Sage to play on this map. Yep, doubling the score of anybody there on the side of Dig. He is vibing, if you will. And back on a partial bye. Judges 
even a frenzy in there to see if they can get an upper hand in a close situation and not even really going for the shorty. They want to be able to know that they can rotate with the pistol they're trying to eco with. Dig here is really backs against the wall. and You never just think about second map right away. They have to be thinking about what way they can get a few rounds to make sure pistol is not their last. Split's supposed to be a defender favored map. Sentinel's proven you otherwise. They have been clean on their executes. Ah, Whenever so they clean. drop a player at the start, they answer back with at least two picks of their own. Pucka, this strength of Sentinels is kind of absurd. Because we did hear Shazam kind of saying, even in their matches, that they felt completely in control. In the 13, 8, or 9 that they won, their opponent didn't get double-digit rounds, so it wasn't that close. What they consider close and in the lead is amazing in how they feel in control in each game is you can see how fast they push that advantage. I believe that was a bit of team paranoia that Rex shanks everyone dying at the top of B. All of a sudden, it's just going to be poised working with Superman. Now, Superman has the Sheriff, and in the first or her second round, he was able to do some damage with it. He is going to get overwhelmed, though, by a frenzy from Shazam. Spike goes down. Judge is out. Can oh, no. he get all three? There's the first. Ooh. Second. And he is going to find all three. Poised now with weapons to work with. He's got time. And he is two kills away from this ultimate. Oh, it just feels like if Poised is at the start of every situation this game, it would be so much no different. Way. But can he make the end different, too? Can he seal the deal on the first round here for Dignitas? Everything towards spawn. He tries to jiggle it, but Sick will not be killed this game. He almost had Sick on the Retreat brought him down to yellow health. Sick able to get that quick heal and then the finish as it was just one bullet to take down poise. But what a heroic effort in the 1v5. The man does massive damage with the judge. Oh. Making the rotation with the judge work never easy. Switches guns, quick work of Zoms, but that 8 HP Zoms was able to do, making all the difference. So close. Six head just around the corner. Oof. Poised, heroic performance, but it's still a 9-0 score in favor of the opposition as Shazam finds another first blood. If you're keeping track at home, I believe that is going to be 8-1 to one when it comes to first bloods in favor of Sentinels. And again, Puckett, they're doing it. I asked for it. Sentinels is keeping the rounds fast. We're not even really getting strats. We're just getting two body bags right now as Sinatra brings up two more. Great by Som to trade that back before it happens. And it's going to be A again here. Sentinels know when the eco is happening, obviously, and they don't even feel like the gun rounds matter as they're still running through when Dig has buys. Sinatra selflessly oh charging word. in there, sets up the rest of the team. Now, Sick also has a res if needed, but I don't think they're going to have to use it this round. Ten clean in a row. Sentinels, we talked about it before this match, one of the best attacking squads in the game. This is their best map statistically, and they are showing everyone why. We'll see it here again. It just instantly pushed up the ramp. Sinatra says, thank you very much. What a late push here from Zoms as he does the cleanup work and their phantoms are holding true. Zoms with nothing but headshots in the feed from what I've seen. 12, 0, and 4. I think we're going to see a few more Sages in solo queue coming up here. Puck it. Thank you, Sick. Not just for I'll, the bottom I of the board. I will never argue <laughs> against a Sage locking in on my team. Since the beta, I have been all about it. Res me, please. Oh, he, he does... He, just stays alive. Probably gonna ask for to res him. Oh, oh my gosh. Jeff Shazam. is just getting picked on this game too. When he plays at B, he gets picked. When he goes mid, he gets guy. wrecked. There's really no peaks coming in from the defense. There's there's no flashy plays. They're just going for raw aim battles. Sinatra tries to go up the rope. Ice is gonna slow him down, and Superman is waiting at the top with a phantom of his own. Instant res coming through though from Sick. And now he knows the punish is looking from the top. How many can he trade out here? Pocket, they're rope peeking. They're playing with their food right now. Let's see what they can do. Dapper takes one out here. Shanks towards the top. Does he have what it takes? Oh, the cat and mouse game. He just misses the head of Sick. Does he get Sick as for his death? Jump down. Oh, he does. <laughs> Sometimes it matters. You're sending a message. Dapper able to take out Shanks. So. It's it, Sick there <laughs> is charging up the ropes, trying to like pick up the final dude. kill against a shotgun. Playing with their food. Uh, and, and this was something we talked about before the matchup. A lot of confidence from Shazam. You went on to the stream. He was saying, you know, we, we are never worried in our previous matchups up to this point. Always feeling in control. 
And you just got to wonder, what can wow. you do as defenders at this point? What do you do to slow them down other than use all of your utility in the first 10 seconds? So as well, it makes you, I said it makes you act differently as attackers when you have this flow. As well, it should because you should aggress, you should go in with confident shots, but it also makes the defense rotate a lot harder. Wanting to get to a position to make sure they're holding the site, they keep losing it. It changes everything about the game. So it's very hard to have that mid-game switch in mentality to right that ship. Zom's taking out Shanks with a push-up. Dig still doing a bit more and trying to get in the hair and under the skin of Sentinels, but it just doesn't work. Sentinels is seeing zeros and ones right now. They just have this all laid out. Some key picks, though, as Def was able to find Sick trying to sneak up the B ropes. He was able to gather a weapon. Poised now with a Phantom in hand as well, as it's just Zoms who teleports over to A, gets the spike planted, but now has to play this one perfectly. He hasn't used any of his kit, so he still has the paranoia if needed. And there's the first free kill as Poised is looking out with no crossfire. This could cost Dig big as they oh go clean. 12-0. Zoms with three on the round in the 1v2 clutch. Zoms dropping bombs. Look at the score line. Everybody participated on the side of Sentinels. Like I said, every angle's being watched. The confident opening shots coming in. Credit to the entire team. They work together immaculately here on this first half. It's been tough. It's been tough to watch Dig, I'll be honest. Sentinels just doing whatever they want. But now, Dig, they have to pull off a perfect attack. You need to get the money and just rattle off 12 straight of your own to force OT. You lose it here, we are going to your map pick Haven. And it feels bad to be at this point, but every one of these players knows what they can do, how well they can do it. And yeah, they got to give respect to Sentinels right now, but that doesn't mean the side of Dignitas can't hit their shots coming in here. It is imperative for pistol round, though. Yeah, it's like a death match, you know? Just get warmed up for the next one. There it one. is. There just, it is. Just get warmed up. So that means we all buy Guardians and just go for one taps, right? Practice. <laughs> <laughs> See how they can get in. It's in. And look at already. It has to almost be a tentative strap. But does it? Could they have run in? Could they have tried and surprised Sentinels? Because Sentinels ran right through mid first round. Dig looking for the peak, seeing if they can get that headshot. And Sick won't give him to him right away. So Sentinels is going to have a lot of time to just sit back and figure out what Dig wants to do here on attack. Poise kind of gave him all the information yeah. Sentinels needed on the defensive end with that early aftershock. And you're going to see now the spike being picked up. 50 seconds left on the clock. There's been no contact up to this point. Shanks is trying to work an angle over at A, where three players are currently holding it down. Over on the B site, it's Dapper, one of the best ciphers in the game, gathering info with his camera. And they have the three stack towards A. Oh my gosh, Jet's pulling him over. Shanks is going to pull him over very nicely to that A side. And now the rotation comes back from Sinatra. Will they be able to get into sight before he gets there as he throws a Roomba in? It's a frenzy. And it will be a bit chaotic as they make their way into sight. Dapper says, I got one. And there it be. Poised with that spike in hand. The Omen just teleporting to the right of Dapper. He is going to be sandwiched, but Sinatra is still finding oh my kills. Word. As Zoms comes from the opposite angle. A great pinch here. And a full paranoid play as Dapper runs out trying to get the up close and personal kill on Poise. It looks like Dig may have this rib. Oh, as sick I see. coming up. As you say that, it goes down. Dapper even running in there blind to take the kill. But Sentinels with a clean game on Dignitas for map number one. It was Sentinels pick and they made a statement. That's a new record. Yeah, put that one in the books. 13-0 in the last Ignition Series event here in North America. Sentinels are making a statement run in this tournament.